our goals at the beginning of the season were really just to see everybody improve as the, the season went on and then hopefully have everybody running at their best at, at the end of the season. And I can definitely say that that did happen, especially at the conference championships. Uh, several people had their fastest time over the 6K and 8K distance. Um, I know on the men's side, I think Hayden ran a PR. Taylor, our, one of our seniors, ran a PR. He was really looking forward to breaking that 28 minute barrier and he finally got to do it at our conference championship. And then on the women's side, Isabel finished runner up and was really close to winning. I know that's a, a goal of hers going forward to, to next year. And then on, on, the women's, on the men's and the women's side to finish, we finished ninth on both sides. And that was kind of our goal to finish right kind of in the middle of the conference because all 18 schools compete at, in the cross country championships. Yeah, so Isabel's had a unique season. She actually was injured at the beginning of the year and did not run a race until the week before Max. So she actually didn't start running on the ground until the first week of October. And she just cross trained a ton. She's put a ton of work in, in the pool and on the bike and doing as much as two hours to two and a half hours a day of cross training. And all that definitely has paid off because we've seen a big improvement from week to week. I was all excited to start the season. Coming into August, we were really getting a lot of training and hard work, like my highest mileage per week. And then I started having this injury and this pain. So it turns out I had to stop running for four weeks. And then I slowly started up again in the beginning of October, but it turns out I wasn't able to run every day. So Coach Bernan and I came up with a plan to cross train as much as possible. So that means hitting the pool, hitting the bike, walking, something that's not as high impact for like two to two and a half hours a day every day. And I had my first official workout the week before Max. So that was exciting. And being able to come second at Max was really, really awesome. And then to finish runner up at Max was, was a really big, it was really exciting for that to happen. And then for her to qualify for the national championships by finishing fourth at regionals, we've only had one other woman and that was Emily Gates in 2019 that, that has qualified before for the NCAA championships. The regionals was really exciting as well as the most entrance in a race that I've ever had to race up against. So that was really unique for me. And just being able to experience it with the team was really fun. And just being able to be there because having been injured, I had no idea that I would be running. So to be able to do any of this was really awesome. And again, going forward um, this year for Isabel, it's all about getting the experience of what it's like at nationals. And hopefully um, top 40 is all American in cross country. So that's kind of, a, kind of a goal right now. But this year, again, like I said, it's, it's more about gaining that experience of competing at the national level. I think I'm just gonna have to do what I know what to do. Just get out there. It's gonna be a really packed field and really stacked. So there's a lot of really talented runners there as well. But I know that if I just do what I've been training these past few months and I just keep using what I know, then I'll be fine if I can just get out there and hold my place. Yeah, so we're really gonna miss our seniors next year. On the men's side, we lose Taylor and we lose Jake, and they've both been great leaders and just really hard workers. So we're gonna look to some of the other underclassmen to step up next year and kind of take over those reins and, and help with the, the incoming freshmen going forward. And on the women's side, we lose Miriam and we lose Lauren. And it, it's gonna be, again, great leaders, gonna be really hard to, to fill those spots, but we have some great underclassmen that I think are gonna step up and, and fill in that role.